Is your... <laughs> it's a little cold out here, come on. Yeah. Can you bring me a jacket? Stressed. I got something to tell y'all. Why are you smoking? <laughs> Why you bring me this jacket? <laughs> you can't never be regular. Bring me a regular jacket. What you say? Please bring me a regular jacket. It's cold out here. It's 19 degrees. Is it? Where that fur leave me alone? You want you want this Versace yellow jacket? The puff. Let me see what that. Let me see what that yellow jacket hitting on. I need to retire these lashes. <laughs> okay, for real. I gotta tell y'all something. That's been weighing heavy on my heart. <clears throat> I look like somebody that look like cookie line, bitch. Oh, he knocked my earring off. Damn. Let me see that one. Uh, drape that bitch back over me. How you did? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Take that one. Here we go. Okay, so. Is everybody log the fuck in, clock the fuck in, dock the fuck in? Okay, it's, I got something to say. So, it has been a lot of fuckery going on that I don't like. And I just feel like I need to say something. And y'all know I don't like putting people in my business. But this just really, you know, it's going to affect all of us. <laughs> I'm for real. So... As y'all may know, or as y'all may not know, I am signed to an independent label. Okay? Independent. That mean it ain't no major label. That mean that the shit that y'all be seeing me doing is happening because I am an independent bitch that do independent shit. I wake up and I say, hey, I want to do this today. Hey. I want to do this today. Hey. I want to drop this today. And usually, I can do that. So all that, all these them covers and them motherfucking charts and all that shit, that ain't because I had no help. That ain't from no push. That ain't from no money. All that radio, I be doing all the performances I'm supposed to do. I be motherfucking doing everything that I do. Because I want to do it. Because I'm independent. I signed to an independent label. Okay? So I just want y'all to keep up with that. Keep up with that. Independent. Nobody helping. The label, the first label that I'm signed to, both my labels is independent labels. Y'all on there? Y'all with me? Independent. Ain't nothing. All that, that big label shit, all that shit you see them artists doing, I'm right there rolling with them. But I'm on an independent label. 
But I got all the freedom to do what I be wanting to do. All right? Now, let's talk about where it start going wrong. No, Rock Nation is my management. I'm not signed to Rock Nation as a label. So, I'll just one more time because I see some new people asking new questions. I'm signed to two independent labels. And I do what I want to do. They following the Megan Thee Stallion train. Me and my mama built that shit from the ground up. I was doing ciphers. This earring just don't want to be on. I was doing ciphers. I was freestyling in front of the car, in front of my house. I was rapping in front of anybody who was going to listen to me rap. Okay? I was just rapping because I like to rap. Rapping because I want to rap. That's what I like to do. I ain't wake up one day and be like, I'm a rapper. No, I've been rapping for a long time. Been want to be a rapper. This is my passion. I feel very strongly about it. So, me and my mama, my mama used to answer all my emails. My mama was my manager. My mama was my rock. My mama was everything. It was just me and my mama rolling around this hoe, doing Megan the Stallion shit. So then, we met T. Ferris. And T. Ferris was like, okay, uh, I have this label, and I really want you to sign to it. It's an independent label. We just starting up. Me and my mama love T. Ferris. Boom. Signed to 1501. Signed to 1501. Now, 1501 had a bunch of artists. A bunch of niggas on the label. What? 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 Come here! What? Was that too, is that too crazy? Baby, I can't even see that through that window. Didn't know I should. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, Girl, what's that for? <laughs> Girl, go on now. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so, so what I'm doing is, um... Get out! Get out! Get out! What's that? No, because what? We're talking. Dang! Oh, he want to be all in my combo. So, anyways. So, boom. Signed to 1501. 1501, very new. 1501. Got niggas on the label already. They, they been... They been had that. But when I got on the label, now, you know, now I'm a part of the label. So, they didn't have nobody that was really like, you know, on a large scale yet. So, my mama was managing me. We was doing our own thing. We was doing our own thing. So, I started getting more popping, more popping. And then I signed with 300. That's another independent label. Okay? It's my second independent label. So, when I signed with 300, everybody's still a big happy family. Everybody happy. Everybody good. Oh, shit. What they said about my mama? Y'all asking dumb shit under here. So anyways, so it's really cold in New York. But anyway, so I signed with 300 because even though 300 is a, a, a independent label, it's still a bigger label. Like in my head, it's like, okay, they're going to be able to put my music more places. Like, because I was still uploading shit like CD Baby, even when I was on 1501. 
So, I mean, I'm still on 1501. But even when I first started on 1501, I was still putting shit out through, like, little bitty ass distributors. So, when I got with 300, it just happened to go to, like, a bigger scale. So, point blank period. Now, on this day, I want to tell y'all that... 1501 trying to tell me I can't put out no music. Fifteen oh one don't want me to put out no music. And I've been seeing a lot of little shit on the internet. Motherfuckers be talking shit. And it's real crazy because all I did was ask to renegotiate my contract. Then it became a big old thing. When I signed, I didn't really know what was in my contract. I was young. I think I was like 20. And I didn't know everything that was in that contract. So when I got with Rock Nation, I got management, real management. I got real lawyers. And they was like, do you know that this is in your contract? And I was like, oh, damn, that's crazy. No, I didn't know. So I'm not mad at 1501. I wasn't upset because... I'm thinking in my head, oh, well, everybody cool. We all family. It's cool. It's nice. Let me just ask some niggas to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> Soon as I said, I want to renegotiate my contract, everything went left. Like, it just all went bad. It all went left. So now they're telling the bitch that the, she can't drop no music. It's really just like a greedy game. Like, it's really just real greedy. Wasn't trying to leave the label. Wasn't trying to not give nobody money that they feel like they entitled to. I just want to renegotiate some shit. I'm not a greedy person. I'm not a person that like confrontation. I'm not a person that's a bitch. Like, I work with everybody. And I'm nice. And I'm real family oriented. But niggas gonna be niggas. And they gonna be greedy and they gonna be shady. And I see the shit that people be, that, you know, that can't be saying about me. And I'll be like, damn, well, since you got so much to say, why you just won't tell them why you mad? You mad because I don't, because I don't want to roll over and bow down like a little bitch and you don't want to renegotiate my contract. Niggas be like, oh, yeah, they made Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion was Megan Thee Stallion before I even got over there. I've been rapping, been freestyling, been doing me, been been made. So who the fuck, how the fuck can y'all say a nigga made me? Niggas don't even care about what's right. They care about money in the end. And it's just a, it's a greedy game, man. So y'all don't see no music from Megan Thee Stallion? It's because 1501 don't want to drop that music. And that shit real crazy. It's real sad. Like people be like, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. I'm I'm signed to independent labels. I'm not signed to them big ass labels these other artists are signed to and they got pushes and they get placements and they do all kind of shit. So anything you see me do is because I woke up and did it that day. It's not nothing that nobody come came put in my hand. I work for everything that I do. I really be working. And to try to stop me from working is really crazy. All I want to do is make music. All I want to do is put out music. So, when that money get involved, that shit just really go left all the time. So, to to new artists, 
coming out, I just want to say, please, it might seem good, it might sound good, but you definitely got to read. And you got to read and read, 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 all that shit. Don't sign nothing without no real lawyer. And make sure your lawyers is not the lawyers of your label lawyers. Get your own lawyer with their own opinion. Read that motherfucking paperwork and have somebody that know what they talking about reading. So I never wanted to address it, but y'all got me fucked up, <laughs> Jew. <laughs> But, I mean, I know I'm going to be okay. Because at the end of the day, when you really give a fuck about music and you know that you're really doing right, and you really pray, and you really believe in the Lord, and you know you ain't did nothing wrong, you know you ain't did nothing wrong, can't nobody touch you. It be your own people. I just want to drop my music, man. Free me. Tell them. Somebody tell them. Free Megan Thee Stallion. I'm finna go on a whole campaign. Niggas think that I'm not finna drop my music. That's crazy. <laughs> Free the Stallion. Alright, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs>